Uh, see, man, what, what what have you been playing? I know I know you've at least booted up um, Wolfenstein: The New Order. And, and, Hell uh, yeah! You know, for for completely unrelated Nazi reasons going on in our country at the moment. <laughs> Absolutely, it was completely unrelated to the fact that. Uh, this week happened, and then I saw it was on sale and decided to just get the whole collection because I've been meaning Hell to get yeah. it. Uh, yes. Felt like shooting some Nazis for completely unrelated reasons. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I started playing it uh, yesterday. Uh, I haven't gotten very far into it yet. I finished like the prologue section and I've started like getting into the actual meat of the game. Uh, but uh, did you save Wyatt or Fergus? This is a very important question about our about our friendship. It's very uh, important to uh, me. Uh oh, uh oh. Um, <laughs> it's very important to me. <laughs> um, uh oh. I, I don't know. Did I choose? Um, I, I ended up choosing Fergus. Yes. Uh, wait, Fergus right to answer. die or Fergus to live? Most people choose Fergus, Fergus. to live. Fergus. Fergus is the right answer. Okay, Fergus Wyatt, is the right answer. For the record. Yeah. The first time. I chose yeah, my friend my friend told me to pick Wyatt and you I'm know what? very happy with that choice. Fergus, Fergus, Fergus is, the right, is the right choice for one. Wyatt's the correct choice for two. I don't Absolutely. I don't know, man. Wyatt has Fergus the better with his, with his, with his uh, arm is great. Wyatt has would... a lot of character development in two, Fergus just kind of exists in two. Leave 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 him alone. Fergus is good. <laughs> I'm sorry, T-Man. Yeah, go go yeah, ahead. How are you enjoying your time with it? I, no, I, I had mean, to look at it. Oh, go on, T-Man. No, I, I was just going to say that like, I felt like I felt like Fergus is going to be mad at me for choosing him because it felt like it's supposed to be like he's like the older guy and, and Wyatt is like the young, fresh-faced soldier and you should like sacrifice the old guy, to, older guy to save the, the new soldier. But like, in my head, I'm like, Wyatt's already freaked out several times and we're like barely into the game and I don't I don't know Fergus gets it got his his shit together so I, I kind of want to keep him alive it did you know however this goes down so that's, that's what that's what my decision was well it's a hell of a way to rationalize making bad decisions but that's it, okay go go ahead continue <laughs> how, how, how you liking the game so I really like it but the game made the t- terrible decision of giving me stealth options oh no because oh, i whenever i've <laughs> whenever i've given stealth as an option instead of just going in and blasting everybody i choose stealth on reflex like it's how i played ghost of tsushima uh and so instead of like going around gunning everyone down i'm like sneaking around corners and stabbing people in the back and everything and I was expecting to go in and just have like a shooter like Doom or something where I'm just all kinds of crazy combat. Every level I think, has like three paths that I adore. Mm-hmm. I think you're playing it absolutely correctly. Like even if you happen to break stealth, you just go guns a blazing. Um, that's far less applicable in two. There's not really you can yes. stealth a little bit, but the level design doesn't account for it. Not until like maybe the end of the game when you get like upgrades and shit can you really do stealth yeah Yeah. but uh i I think you're gonna wind up enjoying it it's a a hell of a game the one thing i will say about you playing through this series is don't don't ignore young young blood too many people seem to have done that just oh no 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 you can you can absolutely ignore young blood no, it's I. I it is the antithesis of what is great about those games. Yeah, it is. It is the. <laughs> all I'm gonna uh, say is killing Nazis as like teenage teenage girls. Two best strengths <laughs> of the Wolfenstein <laughs> franchise, the, at least the rebooted franchise. Uh, strong, well paced narrative. Fucking excellent cutscenes. It's just so tightly paced, back to back to back. The the the, like the, the gunplay. You have super crazy powerful weapons. And everyone dies in like in a mere second. You know what? You know what? Young blood is a complete fucking opposite on both those fronts. It is. Anyway, T man, go ahead. <laughs> y- young blood is the 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 expansion to the second one, right? No, it's a standalone. Uh, Youngblood is, standalone, is yeah. a standalone sequel to uh, mm. uh, to the is new Old Blood also standalone. Uh, yes, kind of? but in the same in the same sense, it is a prequel to 
New Order that plays narratively a lot like more like the classic Wolfenstein games. It's hokey, supernatural. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's yeah, kind it's got, of like, a in it and stuff. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. light canon. Mm-hmm. It's not canon, like fully. Don't. Well, they they never bring up the zombie shit and the weird supernatural uh, shit again. Well, no, but like no, it, it lines up. it lines up like to be canonical. Like I think I won't I won't spoil anything, but yeah. Well, also, want to say don't feel the need to do the uh, wolf, the old Wolfenstein uh, segments. Yeah. Oh, wait, those, those are just uh, Easter eggs. Those are interesting. Those are cute. Again. That's it's cute the first time you do it. And then it's like, I shouldn't have done this ever again. <laughs> oh, um, <laughs> last hint for me. Um, and when you play two, you, did, you said you already bought two? Yeah, I bought like the entire collection. So I have everything. Okay. I, I would have recommended yeah. to play two on PC because um, that game is incredibly fucking unbalanced and hard as shit with a controller. So even when you're going to play it on PS on uh, PS4, PS5. Um, just, just do yourself a favor. Play it on easy. Don't, don't yeah, worry yeah. that. It's, don't worry. It's giving you the fucking baby icon and being a shithead about that. Yeah, because it, that game is not it, balanced. The way damage right? works in that game is so broken that it's like yeah, it's it's, borderline unplayable. On yeah. Like, you guys are talking and, about not playing self. Like, I had to play self. I was playing on normal. <laughs> <laughs> what, that, that's really the only bad thing about two in my mind. Cause I have a peeve of when games, have an easy difficulty but then you play it and it's not fucking easy that's my only mm-hmm. thing about two is that it's not an easy game no matter if you're playing on easy or not which sucks because it's it's just fucking so good and the story is really good and the gameplay is a lot of fun and the set pieces are nuts and there's just too many times where i had to just pause the game and be like what the fuck is happening because they fucking went balls to the wall like they were just like oh do we want to do this do it want to do this do it like how about this yeah that's nuts do it like it's just it's one of those games where if you can push past the difficulty and push past the unbalanced gameplay aspect of it you're not going to regret your time with it whatsoever mm. just so gotta what, push through the bad stuff <laughs> so what else have you been up to <laughs> to you man any other nazi related shooters um, or <laughs> no well so the big thing i played sort of over december was yakuza like a dragon uh oh, yeah. and it's <laughs> you are it a beautiful so boy aren't you <laughs> i guess i just have great taste i, I don't know what to say um <laughs> but like it was look, yakuza like a dragon was such a good game that i got like post yakuza withdrawal and i d- didn't want to i couldn't figure out what i wanted to play afterwards and so i've sort of picked up wolfenstein um but i've also been playing a lot of like you know random sort of not story-based games like i've been playing a lot of slay the spire uh doing things like spelunky 2 fall guys uh all those sorts of like you know things i can put like 30 minutes into here and just have fun and then you know set it down and do something else because like i have like basically i have 13 sentinels sitting next to my ps4 right now as the next big game I'm going to play, that's going to take me a while to get through. Uh, but I, I wasn't motivated to start another really heavy story game right after um, Yakuza. I think it's good to pace yourself out like that. I, I I don't like playing two games of the same genre or like same kind of mm-hmm. like even strength back to, back to you back to back to one another. Yeah, I I also I. I've started Yakuza zero like three times and keep falling off of it because I'm not a big brawler person, but I think after the strength of Yakuza, like a dragon, I'm going to actually go back to it and really try and go through because the story is so good. And I am, from what I understand, all the Yakuza games are like that and it should, I, mm-hmm. I, I, I think you'd I'll be doing yourself like, the gameplay. Yeah, I think you'd be doing yourself a favor to just um, just put the difficulty on easy and just breeze through mm-hmm. it because I don't think the combat in that series is the draw, and it might even to it to some degree it's even a detriment to it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Bounce off, Kwame, because I just 
just they just they just take too much take too many hits 